Morning guys, hope you're all doing well. Today this is my VR2 pipe in the back and his 2000 sub giveaway. Uh, if you guys haven't already subscribed to Yanez's channel, although I've got a feeling most of you have, he has fantastic content as he has for a number of years. He's very, very knowledgeable when it comes to everything pipes. And his question for his 2007 giveaway is kind of if we had one brand of tobacco to rely on kind of in the sense of kind of doomsday if you were held and they had and you can only have one brand what brand would you rely on or what brand of tobacco do you rely on for everything and for me it's between two but one will become more clear as we Pop through. As you can see, I've got three tins here, two of them HU, one by Jermaine's, which actually, I've got a second tin of Rich Dark Flake. This came in the post this morning. Um, there was a tiny little drop at one particular UK website earlier in the week. I managed to get pick up two tins. These will be going straight to my cellar, as Rich Dark Flake is one of my favourite blends, and you can never have too much of it. And, or in my case, I definitely do not have enough. So these tins here represent my two favourite brands, I would say. At least HU is a very new a new brand to me. Um, the free the free blends that I've tried are Sunset Haymaker and Tilbury. Sorry, not Tilbury. Um, Tillman. Uh, I don't have tin next to me, I don't think. But those are the three blends I have tried so far, and in the Jermaine's lineup, I've tried a wide selection of Jermaine's. Um, for me, Jermaine's make fantastic Lakia blends, the way they process and develop their Lakia has a very smooth and creamy taste to it. And so far, from what I've had from HU, these two are straight Virginias, they are of superb quality and overall they're just fantastic blends but so for for that reason Jermaine's and HU to just now offered two different things for me HU make really fine Virginias and Jermaine's make exceptionally fine like here and oriental blends and of course Rich Dark Flake is a Virginia Burley which is fantastic but if I had to narrow it down to one brand I would go with HU and although I haven't tried any other blends from HU being any Lakia blends uh, or Oriental which I'm soon to try I believe that if their blends are as good as the three I've tried I mean, um, you're in for a treat I think the quality of these blends are completely next to none um, like I say, these two are straight Virginias. Um, I believe Sunset is American and African, maybe. I know Haymaker is a mixture of Brazilian, African, and something else. I, I might have got that mixed up, but I know for sure Haymaker has Brazilian leaf in it, which I think adds that bit of punch. And they both have African, I, I think, too. Um, and those kind of Virginias, the kind of more exotic Virginias that are sourced from all over the world are just such high quality, they add so much complexity. What I would say is if you like cigars, especially Cuban cigars, which have some very complex notes, these two blends by HU so far are some of the most complex Virginias I've tried. Um, they've, it really does change through the bowl as you smoke through it. But it's also just fantastic blends. Um, so yeah, I still have to try more of their blends, but if, if they are anything like this, then I have to say they're fantastic. But if you were to go, so my answer is HU. That's my brand of choice. But if you were to go a step past that and explore it more, the people who make these HU blends in particular are DTM or Dan Tobacco. Um, 
hates you from what I've seen so far. These kind of more European style tints that you see made by HU, they are made for them by Dan Tobacco. And the more kind of paint style can tints, I don't have any, um, but the more kind of paint tin style, you know what I mean, uh, they're made by Carlos and Klopp and the other blends are made by them too. But there's been a few other blends that I've tried from Dan Tobacco, uh, mainly the, the former's blends that I've been exceptionally impressed with. I must say, I think if you're talking about the overall brand of, say, not the brand, but the the manufacturer of these blends. Um, of course, Jermaine's manufacturers are their own blends, um, whereas brands like HU, they're all... The, the blend recipes are by one person, but they're manufactured for them by Dan Tabak, as are the majority of blends out there. Certain brands, they're actually made, not, not by that brand, but by another manufacturer. So I would say, in the larger picture, if I had to choose a manufacturer, it would be Dan Tobacco. Because everything I've tried from them so far has been fantastic. And again, of completely superb quality. Um, if you can, get your hands on as much Dan Tobacco as you can, try it out. Um, like I said, really fantastic. So yeah, that is my answer to Janice's VR. Um, so Jermaine's is up there, always has been. For some of you that know, Jermaine's Rich Dark Flake was the second tobacco I'd ever tried, which is unfortunate because it's impossible to get. Um, and I've always loved Jermaine's. The core Jermaine's blends I have are Rich Dark Flake, 1820 Flake, and Special Ikea Flake. They're, they're like the core three, but I, I also enjoy King Charles and Oriental uh, an original Latkia mixture, which is a uh, Oriental forward blend. But like I say, if I narrow it down to a single brand, hates you all day long, and I really, really look forward to trying more of their blends. So with that being said, I hope you guys have a good rest of your weekend. Saturday morning here, uh, just finishing up a pipe, and once I get that finished, hopefully go out for some lunch. So yeah, thank you all for watching. Cheers.